Okay, people, so in front of me today, I have the Beats Fit Pro earbuds. Now, when I first saw these, the thing that came to my mind is that all Apple did was take their Beats Studio Buds YouTube card right here. I did review those, throw some wingtips on them, gave them a new name, and now they're selling these for $50 more than the Beat Studio Buds, which these are going for $200. The Beat Studio Buds are not going for $150. If you like wingtips, this might be something for you. If you don't like wingtips, pick the Beat Studio Buds up. Those don't have the wingtips on them and those might be a better option for you. But the reason why I picked these up is because I wanted to replace my Power Beats Pros. These are my workout headphones, my everyday workout headphones with these Beats Fit Pros right here. Now, there's one reason why I could not make that switch. You know what, stick around. Let's talk about this for a second. Wanna see some love, it's love day. I'm yeah, sure man. people love out here on the court. What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV. Well, we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Okay, as you can see here right now, these Beats Fit Pros are selling for $200 and they do come in four different colors. You have this Beats Black, you have the Beats White, you have this Stone Purple. I really like that two-tone look right there. And then you also have this Sage Gray. Now the Sage Gray, I do not like what they did with the green and the gray, but I guess that's why it's Sage. If it wasn't Sage Gray, then it wouldn't be the green and the gray, whatever. Anyways, I don't like the green. That would not be an option for me. I do really like this stone purple, but this purple, if I blow it up, looks a little bit more pink than purple. So I don't know. I guess that stone part makes it pink and not purple. Okay, so now the battery life on these earbuds, you will get six hours on a single charge. The charging case will give you additional 18 hours for complete total playback time of 24 hours. Now these do have fast fuel in them and fast fuel is just Apple's way of saying quick charge. So five minutes of fast fuel charging will give you an additional hour of playback time. Now I couldn't find the total time it would take to completely charge these up if you drain the battery all the way down. But with the USB type C charging port on the back side, it wouldn't take more than two hours to completely charge these up. Now go around this box really quickly. On the front side, it does say Beats Fit Pro, comfortable, secure fit wingtips, active noise cancellation. On the back side, it says true wireless earbuds with USB charging case and cable, which I already talked about. It gives you your battery life as well at the bottom. On the right side, it says sweat and water resistance. So these are IPX4 rated. And then on the left side, it says active noise cancellation with transparency mode, comfort, secure fit, yada, yada, yada. Heard that before. And that's pretty much it, people. That's everything on the outside of this box. You do have an Android app which I will get into later on in this video. And then I will also run through the Apple settings when it comes to these earbuds. Apple doesn't have an app, but you can go inside of the settings and adjust different things that you want. I'd rather see Apple come up with an app, but that's just me. On the inside of this box, what you will get, you do have your case right here. And in very quick size comparison, the case is a lot smaller than the Powerbeats Pro. I heard a lot of people talk about how big this case was. I was never a hater of how big this case was because I was never walking around with this in my pocket. It was always like in a gym bag or some type of bag and I would just take the earbuds out when I was working on these. But I only strictly use these for working out. I never use these as like an everyday earbud and so the case was never an issue to me. But as you can see, very, very huge size difference when it comes to the case. The Power Beats Pro case is almost double the size of the Beats Fit Pro case. Um, hold on, before I get into this case, let me go ahead and go talk about the other contents inside the box. So you also get USB Type-C charging cable, which is a shorter cable, which is always nice in my opinion. Um, and then you get two additional ear tips right here. So you have a large and a small, I believe right here, and the mediums are already pre-installed. You also get some literature right there. I'm not really worried about that, but then you also get a sticker as well if you are into stickers. And that's pretty much everything that comes inside of the box. So let me go ahead and clean this up and let's get right into this product. Okay, so going around this case right here, like I said before, it is dramatically smaller than the Power Beats Pros. I'm not sure if these are the next iterations of the Power Beats Pros. I mean, they are considered to be workout headphones. If you look on the website, it shows a lot of people working out in them. On the back side, you do have your USB Type-C charging port. One thing that I do not like about this case is that it does not have the ability to be wirelessly charged. I think Apple 
should have made that option available, especially for $200. You also have an indicator light on the front side right here. On the inside of this case, you do have your earbuds that sit right here. You have a pairing button right here. So if it doesn't automatically pop up, like if you don't have an Apple with the H1 chip and it doesn't automatically pop up, go ahead and push this pairing button down and you go ahead and begin the pairing process like that. Also, this lid door is held closed by a magnet, so it will not open up if you turn them upside down. And then the earbuds as well are held in by magnets, so if you tip them upside down, they would not fall out. Now, if you drop them from, I don't know, uh, extended height, maybe three, four, five feet, onto a hard surface, everything will probably just pop open and fall out. But while it's rolling around in a gym bag or a purse or something like that, you can rest assured that these will not open up. Going around these earbuds, as you can see, they are an all plastic design. And like I was saying at the beginning of the video, there was one reason why I will not be making a switch from these Powerbeats Pros over to these Beats Fit Pros as my everyday driver, simply because this is just my opinion. I like the air hooks a lot better than the wing tips. I believe that they are a better universal fit for more ears as opposed to these wing tips right here. These wing tips might not fit everybody's ears securely. So I am going to keep working out with these and I don't know, I might just give these away or something like that, but I will not be using these as my everyday workout earbuds simply because the wing tips. You do have, like I said before, this flexible rubber wing tip. You have a uh, uh, proximity sensor on the inside for both of these and if you don't know what that is that means that if you have these in your ears you are listening to one you take it out it'll automatically stop your music you put it back in it automatically resume your music and then you also have your push buttons on the outside right here I'll go over the button function when I'm inside the app now these push buttons right here on the beat studio buds they weren't to me as sensitive I don't know if it's just because they incorporate inside this wingtip right here but when I am putting these in my ear I do find myself accidentally pushing this button right here and playing and pausing my music or whatever. There's just a little bit more sensitive, which I do not like. It is not a touch surface. It is a physical button, but I just don't like how sensitive it is. Maybe if it was a little bit more stiff, it would be better for me. You also have two dual beam forming microphones in here which pinpoints your voice while a digital processor cuts out external noise and wind so your voice is clear and easy and on top of that you also have spatial audio that's another big component that's inside of these earbuds and not inside of these and if you have been living under a rock for the past i don't know two years or you're just not in the earbuds like that or apple products like that what spatial audio is it uses dynamic head tracking for immersive music, movies, and games. Dynamic head tracking uses gyroscopes and accelerometers to adjust the sound as you turn your head for a multi-dimensional experience that makes you feel like you're inside of it. Say you're watching a movie just without these earbuds on. If you're watching a movie and you turn your head this way, the sound's still coming at you from this way. You turn your head this way, sound's still coming at you from this way. So that's exactly what Spatial Audio does. It takes your phone or your mobile device, wherever you're watching your movies or listening to your music from, and that will be the main point. Say like the music is coming from that way. So if you turn your head, the music will still sound like it's coming from this way. And you turn your head this way and it'll sound like it's coming from this way. It's actually very, very crazy. I do really like special audio, but I do have special audio already in my AirPod Pros and my AirPod Max. So I'm not missing anything in my opinion with these. These will only be for workouts and I don't think that I will benefit from special audio in this. So I'm not worried about that whatsoever. If that's something that you're looking for while you're working out, that's something that um, would definitely be a plus for you with these earbuds. Also on top of that, these do have the Apple H1 chip in there, and so I don't mess any of this description up. What the H1 chip does, and these are only for iOS devices, it says iOS users will enjoy features like automatic switching between devices, so if you are watching a movie on your iPad and your phone rings, you have your earbuds in, they'll automatically switch over to your phone. You hang up your phone, it'll automatically switch back to your iPad to continue watching that movie. Audio sharing with another pair of Beats headphones or Apple AirPods and hands-free Hey Siri on Apple devices. And then you also have class one Bluetooth inside of these. And I do believe that's just like Apple's version of Bluetooth 5.2. Okay, people, so like I said before, 
These do come with an app on Android devices, but for iOS devices, what you'll have to do is go inside your Bluetooth settings. Once you have these paired to your device, as you can see right here, I do have the Beats Fit Pro. Click on this I right here, and then this is where you'll get your additional options. So you can toggle between noise cancellation, off, um, and trans and transparency mode. You have your press and hold option right here. So if I press and hold, I can choose to have volume control, um, left earbud, right earbud, volume up, volume down. You can change that to switch vice versa, or I can cut that off and I can just have noise control right here and automatically go through and have noise control to toggle through noise cancellation, transparency mode and off. So if I went back to here and held it down, you will see that it switches. If I go back into this press and hold, you also have the opportunity, you also have the ability to, let's just say I want my right one to control the noise control and I want my left one to control series. So you have various options what you can do when it comes to this press and hold button right here. Um, you also have automatic ear detection, like I said before, that is with that sensor on the inside of these earbuds, connect to this iPhone automatically. You have spatial audio, you click on that, you can turn that on and off. It'll automatically run through a sample of what spatial audio is, um, which is definitely a more immersive sound. And like it says right here at the top, it says experience immersive. Turn this down. I can't hear. I can't hear what I'm trying to talk to you. Like I said before, um, spatial audio is experience immersive three-dimensional sound that follows the movement of your iPhone for supported audio and video. You, you can turn on spatial audio and control center or just touch and hold the volume slider and tap spatial audio. With the volume slider, if you click down and hold that, then you can toggle with spatial audio right here. So that's another way of doing that. Um, and you can toggle between your noise cancellation and, and transparency mode and off if you just wanted to do it that way. Your microphone's right here. It says automatic. You can have it always in the left earbud, always in the right earbud. I will just keep it on automatic. I like them in both earbuds. And then you have your about tab right here. It gives you your model number, your your model name, serial number, version, case name, your limited warranty, um, and you can disconnect and forget this device all through this app right here. And also at the top, you can also change the name of whatever you want it to sound like. So that is how to get to the options on an iOS device. Okay, so for Android devices, there's an actual app that is offered inside of the Google Play Store, and it is this Beats app right here. So if I click on that, and I don't know if these are connected already, so let me go ahead and open this case up, and it says help connect. Um, I do have the Beats Fit Pros right now. I already connected these to this, but, um, like I said before, what you want to do if they're not, if they don't connect, they don't automatically show up is to hold down this pairing button right here and the app will walk you through the whole entire process to pair these. But anyways, inside of this app, what you will see on the top left, these three bars right here, it will bring you back to my beats, add new beats, app settings, explore beats and help. So my beats, it just shows what I have connected at the time, add new beats. Um, you can add all of these to this app as well. Um, app settings, inside the app settings, it will go through um, the Beats version number, location access, Android settings. I'm not gonna mess with that right now. Um, Google Fast Pair Service, analytics and privacy documents, under documents is legal licenses and private policy. Explore Beats, it'll go through um, it says class one blue chip, blah, 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 different headphones and different speakers. And then help will take you outside and you can go through this and get some help. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it. So let me go ahead and go back into my beats right here. And as you can see, I do have the all black ones, obviously. And it shows up right there. It gives you your battery status for your right and left. It says Beats Fit Pro connected. And you can toggle between transparency mode, noise cancellation off um, right here through the app. And I do believe that you can change the buttons as well, which I'll get to in a little bit. You can rename your Beats Fit Pros right here. I'll keep it what it is. Product features, can't remember how the controls work. Take a quick tour through the features. And so I'm gonna click on this. First, it shows you how to get a good fit right there. And then it shows you the button functions. One tap will play and pause your music. A double tap on either one will 
have the track go forward. A triple tap will go to the previous track. Press and hold the B to toggle between active noise cancellation and transparency modes. Um, like I showed you on the iOS device, you can actually customize that long hold as well. And then you have your charge right here. You have your automatic ear detection. You could turn that off and on. And like I said, you can press and hold and you can adjust. Same thing on the iOS device. You can adjust the press and hold. You have volume control. So you could either have it control your volume or you can either have it control your noise cancellation. So on the noise cancellation, you can have it toggle through everything or you can just do your voice assistant. So on the right one, I would normally have noise control. On the left one, I would have Siri. So just like on iOS, everything's the same. You have an ear fit test as well. You do have, a, you did have an ear fit test on iOS. I didn't show that, but I will run this ear fit test right here. It says great sound, start, start with a great fit. Place both earbuds in your ears so they're comfortable and secure then press continue and then you can see what it says with audio quality and noise cancellation so i'm gonna hit continue and i'm going to see if i have a good fit good fit so i'm good with that you also have microphone automatic and always on left always on right and as you can see this is pretty much the same exact setup but just in an app form. Um, noise cancellation with one earbud, so it allows earbuds to be in noise cancellation mode when only one ear is in. So I do like that. So what that means is normally when you have only one earbud in and you don't have this turned on, you, wanna, you won't be able to get noise cancellation. And sometimes that just doesn't make sense because you have noise cancellation going on in one earbud and you don't even have the other earbud in. So you're obviously letting noise in. But you have the option to turn that on. So if you take one earbud out, you can still have noise cancellation in either of the other earbuds. So that was a quick review of the app on Android in the settings on iOS. So if you're in the market to buy these, whether you have an iPhone or you have an Android device, the bottom line is that you have the ability to get all the features that these have to offer. I love what Apple's doing with that, um, making it available for a broader crowd. So when it comes to sound quality, these earbuds to me are the best sounding earbuds in the Beats lineup. Um, tied with the Beats Studio Buds, obviously, because they're the same exact earbuds, but these just have wingtips on them. So you have your spatial audio, you have a dynamic sound. It's not really for bass heads. Um, you're not gonna get crazy bass out of here, you'll get noticeable bass. Um, crystal clear highs, very well spread out mids um, through instrumentations and different voices. It's just an overall good experience for your average music consumer. For me personally, that's all I'm looking for. Okay, so as you're hearing my voice right now, this is exactly how the other person on the other end of a phone call will hear you. These do, like I said before, have dual beaming mics in them. So that is an advanced technology inside these earbuds that helps cut through other uh, ambient noise and wind noise to give the other person on the other end of the call a uh, very crisp and clean, clear voice of yours when you're talking to them. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some ambient noise right now so that you can actually hear exactly how much ambient noise that these don't let in. Apple has done an amazing job and they've done a, a really good job for years now when it comes to call quality. But on these, I'll let you decide for yourself. Let me go ahead and put some ambient noise in. Uh, feel free to let me know how you feel in the comments. Okay, so right now I do have ambient noise going on in the background. Big three lap by Nipsey Hussle. God bless the dead. I'll let you decide how much ambient noise is actually letting in. Normally, I don't figure this stuff out until post, but I am very confident that Apple does an amazing job. So I'll let you listen up. Okay, people, so that was my test for the call quality. Like I said earlier, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Okay, and so when it comes to latency, no latency issues whatsoever. I tested out YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV Plus, Disney Plus, Peacock, HBO Max. You know, all these were prime suspects when it comes to video streaming services, and I had no latency issues whatsoever. And then also with mobile gaming, I used these only on Call of Duty Mobile. No latency issues at all on that game as well so if you want to pick these up and do a little bit of mobile gaming or worried about any type of latency issues when it comes to video streaming 
rest easy. You will not get any latency issues when it comes to these earbuds right here. And that's all I got for you people. That is my full review and unboxing on these Beats Fit Pro earbuds. Um, for $200, I do believe that these could have came with a wireless charging case, but I mean, if that's not a deal breaker for you, then these might be a good option for you. But like I said earlier in the video, the reason why I'll keep using these Powerbeats Pros over these Beat Fit Pros is simply because of the ear hooks. I'm a bigger fan of the ear hooks. I do not like the wingtips. To me, these ear hooks are just better when it comes to being able to stay in my ears when I'm working out. Yes, I know that these Beats Fit Pros, they have your transparency mode, your ANC, your spatial audio, overall better sound, but I'm not looking for the greatest sound while I'm working out. I just need something that gets the job done and these get the job done. So I will be sticking with these and I don't know, I might be giving these away or something like that. But anyways, probably not the most popular one, but that's what I'm rolling with. And that's all I got for you people. If you found any value in this video whatsoever, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notification. I wanna drop my next tech video. Thanks for stopping by the Tech Love channel. My name is Nicholas and I'm out. Peace. Thank you.